watch my own videos and then, you know, that's what I do. Okay. Um, so to solve, to graph this problem, guys, what we have been talking about with, for your homework was we want to learn a special way to graph. And that special way on graphing these was slope intercept form. Meaning we wanted to graph when we have an equation in the form of y equals mx plus b. All right? Now we have to remember mx plus b, m is going to represent our slope, b represents our y-intercept. Okay? So for this one, I think it's always easiest to find the y-intercept first. On this equation, the y-intercept is a positive 4. Remember, the y-intercept is where a graph crosses your y-axis. So I go up to here and I say, where is the y, where at the y-axis, or y-intercept is at 4. So therefore, I'm going to go up 1, 2, 3, 4. And since I know that's where my line crosses, I'm going to make a dot at that point. Okay, Casey? Now, the next thing is we need to determine where is the slope. All right, or what, and what is the slope going to do? Now, we said that the slope is your coefficient of x, meaning the number in front of x. Well, look at here. We kind of have a number hidden, right? I don't see a number in front of x. Now, we know it cannot be 0 because 0 times x equals 0, right? So we can't say there's, a, there's no number in front of x, so it has to be 0. But what could we say that it's 1? Because 1 times x equals x, right? So the most simplified way to write this equation is just x. But we want to know what the slope is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say I can write that as 1 over x or 1x plus 4, meaning 1 times x. Then the next thing we talked about was slope. Mr. McGlone's slope told us change in like directions, right? Slope was our change in our y-coordinates over our change in our x-coordinates. A lot of times what we say our rise over our run. So meaning I want to write my 1 as a fraction, like 1 over 1. So therefore, now I have it as a fraction. So whenever you're given a whole number, put it over 1 to write it as a fraction. So it says my change in my y, that's as an e, change in my y is 1. That's going to tell me to go up, down, what do you think? Positive 1. Goes up or down? Up. up. So you go from your y-intercept, go up 1. Okay? Then my change in my x is 1 as well. What Positive 1 do you think is going to go to the right or the left? Right, so you go over one to the right. And you have another point. Connect the two. There it is graphed. Okay? That's it. There you go. Yes. You guys want me to do a bonus for you?